Hello friends and welcome back. I'm in my apartment in New York, back from visiting my family in Florida over Thanksgiving. I have like two and a half-ish weeks in New York until I go back home for Christmas and New Year's. So we're gonna enjoy it. I have some things planned. I have some holiday parties to go to. So I'm definitely going to try to document as much as possible over these next few weeks because Christmas is my favorite season. I'm probably repeating myself. Like I know I've said this before. My birthday's in a few weeks. So I just, I love documenting this time of year. And it's about 3.45 in the afternoon. I am heading out in like 15 minutes to go grab coffee with my friend. And then we're gonna grab food and then go to the Guggenheim Museum, which is an art museum. Um, and I'm really just excited because they usually have some really good exhibits going on and I'm pretty sure the one that's going on right now is cool and I am slipping in terms of who the artist is, but I will get all that info and throw it in the vid for you guys to check out. There's a lot, I think, that I'm gonna have in this video. Um, a thrift haul, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna put my jacket on get ready and head out. Okay, here's the outfit for my little afternoon walk. Um, you can't really see it because my scarf's over it, but I thrifted this leather trench, whatever you wanna call it, when I was home in Florida, and it's my new favorite jacket. I layered a bunch underneath just because I'm not ready to pull out my full wool coat yet. And then I added this very large, chunky scarf that I also thrifted while I was home. And then I just have on my Chelsea boots. I hope I'm warm enough. I hope I'm not gonna sweat. Honestly, actually sweating would be fine. I'm someone who gets cold very easily, so I just, sometimes I overcompensate, but that's the look. Let's go see some Christmas decorations, lights. I need a coffee. Coffee first. My biggest issue with winter isn't even the cold, even though that walk, I probably did 15,000 steps. It took me an hour to get there, an hour to get home. It's currently six o'clock at night, but my issue with winter isn't even how cold it is, it's how dark it gets so early. Like it's six o'clock at night, I'm about to make some pasta, a little easy dinner, and then I just like, I wanna eat, and then I wanna go right to bed. I've been going to bed so early, like, 8 45 9 because i if i don't have plans i have nothing to do like i'll read my book and then i want to go to bed i'm not even in like a seasonal depression mood i really feel fine like positive feelings over here it's just once it gets dark i just want to get cozy so i'm gonna make dinner and then probably watch something on tv or watch some youtube videos of people thrifting <laughs> and then it's time for bed. That was a really nice walk though. I did enjoy that and I'm glad I got to see the tree. Um, pro tip, go before the sun sets. There wasn't that many people. There was a lot of people. It was insane, but I know as soon as the sun sets and it got dark, it was gonna be even more people. So I'm glad I got to see it. Got myself a little coffee. Um, just happy that I got out of the house today and didn't sit at home for the third day in a row. Hello, hello, good morning, it's Friday, and I'm leaving for Florida in two days. So it's time to pack, do laundry, clean the apartment, do all that fun stuff. I did grab an acai, acai 
I never know how to pronounce it, bowl for lunch just because I don't have a lot of food in my fridge and also I'm going to get pizza and wine with my friends later and you know, I could use some fruit in my life before that meal. So eating this, working, um, what I pack, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I thrifted when I was home last time before I go home and hopefully make an actual thrifting video. Okay, so I definitely thrifted more than what I'm about to show you guys, but I really can't remember everything because I already put my clothes away. This is a note to myself to show you guys what I thrifted right after I come home from the store because this is what happens. Anyways, these are the highlights. These are some of my favorite things that I picked up. So let's get into it. So first up is obviously the tee that I'm wearing, Fleetwood Mac Rumors. I have another Fleetwood Mac tee that I usually just like wear around the house because it has their faces on it. So it's a little aggressive. So I was very happy when I found this one. It's very fitting for me. Um, I really love to thrift purses. All of my purses are thrifted. So I found this little number by Kenneth Cole show you guys the front um i just really love the size of this one and also just like the stitching it's like a blackish brown perfect for just i don't know everything i wear this to go out with my friends at night it's like a good like going out bag but also good for errands as well but yeah thrift your bags purses whatever you carry on your shoulder because i always find the best stuff then i'm very into longer skirts i feel like I started to wear like maxi skirts kind of in summer and then in fall I was wearing them and now I'm just trying to bring it into winter. So I finally found a longer like denim maxi skirt. This one is like a little bit closer to like mid calf for me since I'm incredibly short. Knee high boots like just very cute and I love the, the pockets in the front just gives it something different when I go home I'm definitely gonna go thrifting again for some more maxi skirts and maybe a different one just because this style is really nice but I would like one with like a little slit in the front or something but this is a really good one to start it looks perfect like I said with knee high boots moving on blazer this like burnt red slash orange color honestly actually it's more of like a burnt coral color but I really, really like it and I love the way that it fits. I'm not 100% sure about keeping the shoulder pads in, but I don't know, I kind of like it. I'm still deciding. If I cut them out, then they're gone forever. So I might keep them in and see how I style it, but I just really love this color. Um, right now I'm really into reds and this is obviously a shade of red. Usually I'm just a black and white type of girl, but I have definitely been venturing out into color, which has been good for me, honestly. In terms of more color, um, here's a few sweaters that I got. I was very excited to find this. I'm very into sweaters with hoods. I think that they just look really good when you pair it with a like leather jacket, pull the hood out. Just looks nice. Anyways, this is vintage LL Bean, just like a pale green sweater, very cozy. And then I also found this doesn't have a hood, but it has a very interesting, unique design. So this is just a light blue turtleneck but it has the zipper up here that basically you can wear it all the way at the top or you can like zip it down it's very unique and different which is kind of what i look for in sweaters now just because during the winter time you can obviously just wear a plain sweater with jeans but i think something more unique just elevates my outfit so and then the last thing i want to show you guys which you already saw the other day is this amazing leather long like trench style coat um you cannot see the full fit i already showed you but i have been looking for a coat like this for a very long time i picked this one up in a size larger than i usually wear which i was kind of contemplating but i think when i'm buying leather jackets from now on i'm definitely gonna size up because i usually buy like my size and then i always find that i can't layer very well with it and i definitely like the oversized fit so this one's not that oversized like it actually fits me pretty well but it's been really good for winter so far because I can wear basically anything underneath it. So, this is it. This is the leather coat. This might be my favorite thing, to be honest. Um, you guys know my leather jacket obsession is crazy. So, all right, here we go with outfit of the night. Entirely thrifted, minus the tights. I think those are Target. Um, the bolero that I mentioned earlier. Can't really see it, but it's this really nice vintage 
I think it's a guess tank. Um, I really like it. And then just like a little plain black mini skirt. Um, and that's it. Did not want to think too much about what I was wearing. So all black outfit it is to go get some wine and pizza with my friends. Okay, so last night was fun. Maybe a little too much fun because I'm a little tired this morning, but I had such a great time. Got pizza, wine, hung out with my friends, and we just had we just had fun. So it was a good Friday night, a good little send off for just I don't know until the holidays, and then I won't see them again until the new year, which I'm sad about. But I'm really excited to go home. Um, I've said this like a million times, but like I really need a break. Anyways, I'm making lunch. Uh, some chicken tenders, rice, making my own version of chicken fried rice because I need some fuel to finish packing and then in a few hours my neighbor friend is having a Christmas decorating party, Christmas cookie decorating party, which I'm super excited about, but I just have like so much to get done before that. So lunch, poppy, you know, after, after a little bit of just a night. I love these things. They're a little expensive, but they are very good. They are supposed to be like a soda substitute, but I mean, I'm a pop girl at heart, so I still have the Diet Coke because I need some caffeine. Anyways, I'm gonna finish making my lunch. I'll check in with you guys. I don't know, maybe when I'm packing, maybe I won't check in. I, I feel like I don't really know where today's gonna go, so lunch first and then we'll figure everything else out. <laughs> party which was just like such a nice thing to do my friend Rachel is like the best baker and she just I don't know she just had like all these cookies for us to decorate wait hold on I'll show you guys I'm not the best but I think that they're pretty pretty decent a little nice selection and if you can see that I think this one's my favorite yeah that's a pretty good one. Anyways, she also surprised me with a banner that said happy birthday. And she remembered from like the one time that I told her that I loved carrot cake and she got me a slice of carrot cake and had a candle on it. Everyone saying happy birthday to me. It just was, it was just so nice. Like my family always does my birthday really great. I'm usually home, but I've had times in the past where friends have just kind of like forgotten my birthday, not because they meant to or out of like, just not being mean it's just that during the holidays it's really hard to keep up with everything and it's five days before christmas so i really it just like made me want to cry like it made me so happy um and then yesterday obviously when i went out, went out with my friends like we were celebrating too so it just was nice that like everyone wanted to celebrate with me before i went home i think i'm gonna end this video here um i'm frantically trying to clean my apartment and pack and go to bed at a decent time because i gotta wake up at 5 a.m so that's gonna be the end of this one guys um I'm gonna film when I'm in Florida. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.